Hey everybody, it's Dustin again with the WebEx Devices team. And today I'm super excited to give you an early preview of our AppSpace integration into WebEx Control Hub. That's right, so we're making it easier for your administrators to be able to both link your AppSpace account to your WebEx Control Hub account and to be able to manage and assign content to your devices directly from Control Hub. So this is gonna make um, integration much easier, much easier to be able to manage your devices. And we're gonna kind of show you how to do that process today in an early preview. Now, don't worry, if you do not have AppSpace already, um, there's a very easy workflow for you to get an AppSpace Lite or a trial version uh, to be able to try this out yourselves. So um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started here. And I'm gonna bring up my control hub. Now, when you first start to do this, uh, one of the things you wanna remember is that this is a part of the uh, WebEx devices. So um, we're actually gonna to go to the management side here under the devices tab to be able to start or show this integration. So I'm gonna to go to devices, and then I'm gonna go up here to my settings. And the very first thing you're gonna see up top here is this new digital signage app space uh, integration uh, area and quite simply what we're going to do here is just enable app space so this is going to actually bring up a pop-up which is going to talk about um, what you're able to do the terms and conditions um, you're going to agree to those and then you're going to actually authenticate with app space now this is going to do a little pop-up or a, a cross launch to be able to get you to do that now when i do this and i'll just take a second here this is going to pop up a, a new window here and this is where i was talking about how you can either tie this to an existing app space so if you're an existing app space customer you'll be able to link and I'm actually, that's what I'm going to do here. But um, you also have the ability to enable the AppSpace Lite version. So this provides some free content creation with some limitations uh, for your WebEx devices. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and use my existing account and I'm gonna go to my public cloud login here. I have got mine already set up and saved for me. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and log in. Now what this is doing is using some new APIs we've worked with uh, AppSpace on to be able to provide this linking for you. And so now you're gonna see here that this is uh, complete. That's going to close out and we are active and authenticated. Now this is not going to be a tutorial on how to uh, set up uh, content and channels. Uh, AppSpace has got some great information uh, for that. I will provide some links down below to where you can kind of get a good understanding of how AppSpace works along with some tutorials and videos. Um, so we're just going to go over showing you how to actually set this up and then how you can now manage your devices with this. So now that we have uh, enabled and we're authenticated, I'm going to go back to my devices tab and I'm going to go ahead and look up my WebEx Edge board. Now, I'm actually going to use this uh, device right here. This is the one that you see uh, kind of behind me here uh, that you can tell is in half wake mode, doesn't have any signage assigned to it. So I'm going to bring this device up and you'll notice over here that um, I do have, and we've shown you on some other videos how to assign digital signage, but I'm gonna show you why it's different or how it's different now. So I'm gonna go to my digital signage tab, and now you have a new window that's going to pop up. So not only can we enable our digital signage, we can also enable interactivity uh, for devices that support that, boards, desk pros, for example. I still have the option to enter in a URL, so I don't have to do the digital signage services with AppSpace if I, if I don't have that or if I don't want to. Um, but what you'll see now is, is that I can select the app space tab. And when I do that, all I have to do is now do this new crosswatch window that says select device content. So when I click that, it's going to pop up another little tab here for me. And it's going to go ahead and log me in because I'm already authenticated, um, as my user to, um, my app space instance. And it's going to show me some channels that I can select for the WebEx edge board. Now I've just got two kind of uh, demo or dummy uh, channels in here. And I'm just gonna do this demo playlist and then hit save. And just like that, that has actually uh, already been done. Now we're gonna improve some of this workflow a little bit to take you back and to show a little more information. But now that I'm back here, I can just hit save. And then I'm gonna click on my device again here to refresh it. Actually, you can probably tell already behind me that uh, you'll see that my board is in half wake mode. So the signage has been turned on and it's actually launching app space right now. And within just a couple seconds, you're gonna to start to see uh, the content flow. So just as easy and simple as that. Now, when I come here now and I look at my digital signage, you'll see that it's enabled. And of course it is, is turned on, it shows that it's here. And this allows me to now come back and relaunch to be able to select the channel or device content that I want to be able to change it. 
Now we're hoping to do some enhancements to this in the future to where you'll be able to see what channel um, you're assigned, you have assigned to your device from right here. Um, but again, this is kind of an early preview, an early integration. I wanted to give everybody kind of a sneak peek to this and hope to get you excited about it. Uh, and we'll be starting EFT trials for this soon. Now, just because uh, I want to kind of show some more of the process, I do want to show you what will happen if you decide to remove this integration. So if I come in here and go back to my settings under my devices tab and I disable app space and I, you know, agree and I disconnect. Once I do this, you're actually going to notice and you can already see behind me, this uh, is going to disable all my devices that were tied up to app space and it's going to, uh, to uh, you know, disconnect them from my app space instance. Uh, one thing that's nice about this is you'll see that your content and this doesn't apply to people that have um, actually, uh, you know, full accounts because this would just be for the people that are doing a freemium or the, or the light version, but they will keep your content for 30 days so you can go back and actually access that and get it again or re-enable if you want to. So just like that, it's kind of a quick, uh, simple, easy overview to show you how this is going to work. Uh, we're super excited about it. We're working uh, very closely with AppSpace to get some additional documentation and some more videos available. And we're going to go more in depth on this as we get a little closer to uh, release. But I really wanted to give everybody kind of a, a sneak preview. And um, again, hope you're excited about it. If you have any questions or comments, please uh, just post uh, some questions in the link below. And uh, if you have questions for AppSpace, let me know. and We'll make sure that we'll get you uh, in contact with the correct sales and support teams there. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you next time.